So a couple of weeks ago, I saw the Idaho Falls Farmers Market soliciting for vendors uh -huh. for the 2024 season. You know that the Idaho Falls Farmers Market is every Saturday, 9 to 1. But in this message, they were saying it was Saturdays from 9 to 2, oh. May through October. And I'm like, what? Well, last week, they finally came out with it and said, hey, by the way, the farmer's market's going to go till 2 p.m. on Saturdays now. Which, honestly, I'm so happy about. Uh -huh. Because all last season, I, for some reason, despite being told several times, was convinced <laughs> that they went on till 2. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The farmer's market will have an extra hour, which is hilarious because I remember like trying to order a corn dog at 12.59 p.m. <laughs> and the rent-a-cops were like, shoo, 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 commoners. <laughs> Out of the way. No, you can't have anything. And I kind of get it. Like, they got to get <laughs> stuff cleaned up. It's a major roadway. Yes, I get it. And also, sorry that you want a little culture in town. <laughs> yeah. But that's exciting. Looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. And another piece of news. Holy cow, if you haven't driven by Jackson Hole Junction, uh -huh. that's... Okay, I swear I went to an event... It's basically Sunnyside and I-15 right there. Right. Okay. All the new car dealerships. There first. Mm -hmm. First, it was Teton Toyota, things. and they were out in the middle of nowhere. Right. And then B and then Teton Volkswagen. Uh huh. Except before that, I think it was BMW of Idaho Falls moved their dealership there. Mm -hmm. Smith moved across the street. Mm -hmm. Now in Jackson Hole Junction, Ron Sayer has their brand new dealership. Which is sort of funny that you have to drive so far to get to a car dealership. Because what if you need a car to drive all that way? <laughs> and you know why they put all the dealerships in the same place, right? Well, so that you can easily hop from lot to lot. Exactly. It's yeah. it's the same reason why still to this day you'll find a lot of Burger Kings across from a McDonald's or very right. near in proximity mm -hmm. to. Or hotels all clustered together. Exactly. Like so, Lindsay Boulevard. Speaking of hotels, I swear I went to something in the conference center at the Holiday Inn and Suites in Jackson mm -hmm. Hole Junction last summer and there was nothing else around. Right. And now there's apartment. Here, I took a little video. There's apartments. There's a Maverick. There's like... Office buildings. Right. There's, oh, and the reason, the whole reason I went, a brand new Taco Bell. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I remember you texting me and being like, hey, look out for the new Taco Bell on Sunnyside. And like, I drive down Sunnyside all day long. Nothing. No idea where it was. Now, here's the thing. I drive down the like upper side of Sunnyside. Yes, the east Not side. the lower side. Yeah. So, of course, I didn't go that way. But I got a Baja Blast and mm -hmm. a Mexican pizza and some steak tacos. And Which is pretty cool. And also, mm. you don't even have to go to Taco Bell to get a Baja Blast anymore. That's right. Is nothing sacred anymore? I think that they had like a 20-year exclusivity deal. That's and That's a pretty good deal. Expi it's hard to believe that it's been around for 20 years, but I think that's the case. Right. Well, no, no wonder Americans are so fat. <laughs> that stuff's good <laughs> and full of sugar. <laughs> I got the sugar free. I got the, what, mm -hmm. the Z. I don't think they call it zero. I think that's Coke's thing. Oh, but, really? Uh, what, what do they call it? I didn't know that they had sugar free, sugar free Baja Blast. They do, and I got it on tap. Whoa. Okay. Tasty, tasty. All right. You know what? I'm going there for a sugar free Baja Blast mm -hmm. next time. Mm -hmm.